Alright, so today we got the Fender P Base bridge cover. <clears throat> um, I wish it came with screws, but it doesn't. I read online that you can use pick guard screws, so hopefully these will work. I um, also got the thumb rest. plastic and doesn't look like there's any screws with this either. Maybe I hear something right all around in there, maybe it's underneath it. Ah, so the thumb rest does come with the screws. There you go, just they're rattling around under there. Alright, so since there's no technical instructions for this, I'm just gonna assume that there's your bridge and that it just lays right up against there. Because it's a perfect fit. Go a little bit each way on this side. And then you'd have to actually drill, drill the holes there. Um, Alright, so here we have the pickup cover, the bridge cover, and the thumb rests. Now, this is the a fender genuine parts as they call them. This is plastic, black. I also got some wood ones here. The wood ones I got from this company in China. Yi Bai or Yai Bai or however you pronounce that, who knows. Um, now, the bridge cover, I just screwed right on. I didn't have to do any drilling. I just screwed right into the wood of the guitar. <clears throat> um, for the bridge, and, I mean, for the pickups and the bridge, there was no uh, screws that came with them. But you can use pick, up, pick guard screws, and that's what I used for here. Um, and this I'm going to use for here. Now, this pick guard does not have holes for the pickup covers or the thumb rests. So I kind of I do it like that. I'm probably just going to go with the, 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 blast, the plastic one because it's black. I guess that looks kind of cool too. The wood matches the neck. But these are actually, the holes are exactly the same. So if you already have a base and you want to get the wood ones, well, at least they're the same from this company, I should say. Um, so let's try the bridge here. Now I don't have any templates or anything. I just kind of lined it up visually um, I didn't use any rulers or anything that's up to you I'm just gonna mark the dots where I'm gonna drill the sharpie <clears throat> and I got my drill here I'm just gonna do a little bit in make sure you're super straight Should be enough to get me going. There we go. So that's if you Get my screws. Now you do have a little leeway with the screw, so I'm just gonna not tighten it all the way yet. Get this side done here. Now, I should mention when I got this, the, the pickup cover it was a little bent I had to bend it back into position because when I put it over the strings were touching it and it's 
you know, like a, a U shape, I guess you could say, but it was more flat. I just squeezed this together to uh, make it a little higher, or where it's supposed to be, I should say. Okay, that's on there pretty well. Not touching the strings. She can even do some slapping still. <clears throat> All right, so now, thumb rest. I already have one hole marked here. You buy the thumb rest from Fender, it comes with this chart. You're supposed to cut it out for jazz bass or precision bass. I'm not even going to bother with that because it actually doesn't even have the... It has it for the higher. Because you can put them up here as well for a thumb rest, I guess. This is more of a finger rest. Um, <clears throat> the thumb rest here from Fender comes with screws. Um, and the one... Actually, the one I got from China... The wood ones, they came with, I get two of those with that one. I actually have a, uh, a base, kind of this color, with no pick guard. I'm gonna put that on, see how that works. Or I could put it on here too, but for now I'm just gonna go with the black. So, like I said, I have the first hole marked already. So I'm just gonna go right in there. That one do a little deeper. as the screws are a lot longer. These screws are a little thicker than the pick guard screws too, so I might, I'll be able to get in there probably. Just without the... So, let's see here, line that up. I'll get this side going in so I can decide where I'm gonna put it. Now, all right, so that's going on good. Be a little loose, I can determine. I also found this chart online. I, I uh, printed it out. I mean, you could do exact measurements or just, you know, I'm just kind of throwing it on to where, kind of visually here, nothing super high tech with this. That should be good right there, maybe. A little more of an angle. So that's good right there. Thanks. All right, so thanks for watching. I will talk to you soon. Check out all my other videos. I've got tons of other crap on here. Backing tracks, guitar stuff, drums, everything else. All right, talk to you soon.